Hi guys, this is the unboxing and quick review of the FireSense Notebook Portable Grill. Um, yeah, it seems to be very convenient, uh, foldable, uh, extendable, uh, small um, grill uh, which you can take with you. If you need some kind of uh, backup, let's say if you go to um, camping or wherever you go and they offer you um, grilling or fireplaces and everything is occupied so you need some extra space to grill your food, then it's uh, very convenient to have something like that with you. Um, yeah, I try to open that see what's really in there it's easy to open okay let's grab it here on the top hope nothing will fall out put it here so you see that's the bottom and that's the top part and just I think you can just pull it apart you open just that like a notebook and you have it almost ready these are the pieces for the side so your blaze is not falling out here we have the grates So the bigger piece is the one for uh, holding your uh, blaze at the bottom and that keeps also the side, side walls in place. Just put it inside, as you see, that's very easy. And that's the grilling grate for the food. It comes with a small instruction. But um, yeah, it's not too much, not much explanation. Um, you see, just for pictures, open it, uh, put in the green grate, uh, the grate for the um, charcoal, and then put the cooking grate on top, like I do. Uh, it's connected, three pieces connected. Here you have some additional security at the edge but actually it's yeah it cannot open wider or now it can close it's already very stable without that but they probably decided to put some extra protection outside so here we have four times these angles it's very easy to put it down mine came a little bit bent I don't know if it was done on purpose or just accidentally but maybe I will be able to uh, bend it back so yeah just make sure these four things are outside and then it's everything perfectly in place if you want to um, if you don't need the whole space you probably can put one back use it like this so you have access to the blaze on the knees. That's a little bit strange. So I don't know why they decided to use these connectors. It somehow makes it uh, difficult to put it down and back. Um, yeah, maybe I think I will try to get rid of these things because they are not useful at all. So it's probably it will be probably better to remove that instead of uh, flipping it on the on top of the other one. And yeah, it looks really good. Looks really stable, as you see. Uh, nothing can happen, even if you have uh, windy weather or something like that. It won't flip or overturn or nothing like this. The only complaint, apart from these silly connectors and the bent grilling grate 
are these holes. I hope you can see them now at the bottom. Let's take this out, you can see it better. The, here we have six holes. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't stay open. So, yeah, you here you have these six holes and nothing, no protection underneath. So, if you are if you try to grill where there is some dried grass or something like that, it can be careful because some of the blaze or uh, yeah, uh, fire can uh, drop to the bottom. There is no protection, so you can see here there's nothing underneath uh, nothing that uh, will protect the bottom or the floor from uh, falling pieces of uh, yeah of the blaze down so yeah that's at the moment before using it really my first uh, my only complaint or only complaints about that regarding design apart from that it looks really good. It actually is surprisingly good for that uh, money. It's about twenty, twenty-five dollars. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon or yeah, I think also other places. So not so bad. It's not very lightweight, uh, but yeah, it's somehow portable. It's still portable. It's not something for a backpack, but you can easily put it in your trunk to yeah just have it there almost all the time to have some extra when you go grilling so yeah uh, I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you want to decide if to buy or not maybe I will make some extra video later when I'm using it for the first or second time um, yeah thanks for watching anyway if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe and yeah see you next time